Hey everybody, and welcome to Action Figure Breakdown, episode number 11. Uh, Seth back here with you again. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing the Hulkbuster wave. Uh, this is an older wave, uh, for those of you that are familiar with the Marvel Legends series. Uh, it came out around the same time as Avengers Age of Ultron, uh, where we got to see the debut of the Hulkbuster in the MCU. Uh, so they did a really, really awesome Build-A-Figure wave for that. Uh, we got some really cool figures to take a look at. Um, also, uh, just so you guys know, there is a Hulkbuster out there that is very similar. As a matter of fact, pretty much identical to the Hulkbuster we're going to take a look at. That is the Hulkbuster from the MCU 2-pack uh, involving Rage Hulk and uh, the Hulkbuster. It does have a different uh, paint job, um, but we're not going to be taking a look at that one today. We're going to be taking a look at the Build-A-Figure. Um, so real quick, grab a box behind me so we can take, go ahead and take a look at this one. Uh, and you can see the different figures we've got in the wave there. We've got the Marvel Now Iron Man, which we've talked about in an episode already before. And we'll break him out real quick so we can take a good quick look at him. Uh, we also have War Machine there, Marvel's Blizzard. Uh, looks like a Doctor Strange fig. We've got uh, an OG comic style vision there, which is pretty neat. Uh, we've got uh, Valkyrie and another Maiden of Might, Thundra, right there. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those seven figures. Super excited to take a look at those. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in right away uh, to the figures. So first up, I'm going to bring up Thundra, guys. And these have already been deboxed already, most of them. Uh, as you can see, I've taken them out. Uh, and we did the BAF already, so we'll go ahead and get a good look at that here in a minute. Uh, Thundra is a pretty cool fig, guys. Uh, so this is a slightly larger female buck that we're looking at here. So here's our Thundra fig, guys. She comes with a cool uh, ball and chain accessory here. So we've got that neat little guy here. Uh, kind of looks like the Absorbing Man ball and chain, but the ball is obviously quite a bit smaller. But definitely Thundra's signature weapon. Uh, and then we've got some, uh, we got the figure here, as you can see, guys. And she's got that cool bright orange fire red hair. The classic Thundra comic red outfit. Uh, belt is not molded on, so that is an accessory technically, but it doesn't look like it has a way to come off, so you have to actually disassemble the figure there for that. Uh, so like I was saying, she's a little bit of a larger female buck. I will grab... Oh, you know what? I got MCU Captain Marvel on my desk here. So as you can see, we'll go ahead and take these back. Uh, the legs on the female buck are usually a lot smaller. Uh, the arms are a lot smaller. Yeah, as you can see, that's a much larger female buck. But obviously, Thundra is a big girl who goes around kicking ass and taking names. Uh, so this is this is a girl that needs that kind of buck. So we've got a little bit different. Uh, we've got the articulation here. Um, her legs, being from an earlier wave, are a little bit different. As you guys can see, they've got these kind of terrible socket joints that look like I can turn them. There we go. That's a little bit better. Then we can turn the thigh here. And get that lined up a little bit better with the paint. But as you can see, I mean, I don't hate this because it seems like it gives her legs a little bit more articulation, which is nice from the hips. Uh, more like the guys, which I kind of dig. So actually, you know what? You know, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig this. This is this is a good thing. So we like these legs. We like that hip socket joint thing going on there. That's pretty, pretty rocking. Gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of the uh, torso portion. Uh, we have a double hinged knee, which is pretty standard for the Marvel Legends. Uh, we've got our, let's see, ankle pivot. Yes, we've got an ankle pivot. We've got a back and forth. But we do not have a shin pivot on this fig, which kind of stinks because she's got the boots for it. So, case okay, sera Uh Biceps. As you can see, we've got, Thunder's got some bigger arms here slightly. So it looks like it might be a standard, like a regular size male bicep right there. Uh, but she's got the standard Marvel Legend. Uh, shoulders uh standard female torso which kind of stinks because like i said they did a bigger buck here so you wish they would have given her an, given her an ab crunch and a, and a hip pivot that would have been nice but we didn't get that we just got that standard top pivot which kind of stinks but oh well anyway got bicep pivot we got uh we do not have a double inch elbow so it's not like a guy elbow completely we've got that standard female ball and socket thing going on she's got looks like standard female uh forearms here which actually now that i'm looking at it on camera um, it doesn't look strange and as strange in person, but on camera, I'm not going to lie. That kind of looks a little disproportionate right there. 
Um, so again, earlier fig guys, 2012. Uh, so this is as Hasbro was kind of just starting to hit their stride with the Marvel Legends figs. So this is probably one of the weaker figs in the uh, setup. Uh, as you guys can see, the paint apps on her face aren't terrible. Uh, but if we can get up close of her head here, let's see if I can get a good shot right there of her face. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Uh, but on a shelf, just the way her head is, it kind of looks like she's always looking up with those eyes. Like she, they always look a little bit like she's... Hmm? Like that. Uh, so it's it's not a terrible fig. I dig the paint. Uh, it's pretty sharp uh, for the most part. The gold is really cool. The thunder on the leg or the thunderbolts on the legs right there are really nicely done. Uh, I wish they would have metallicized the boots a little bit better, but they're not they're not terrible. Uh, so overall, I'd give this I don't know like you know a six seven out of ten. Uh, it's not a great fig, but it's not a terrible fig either. Um, she fits the line. She goes very well with my Fantastic Four set over there. Um, she's one of the, uh, I don't want to say founding members of Fantastic Four, obviously, but she's definitely a regular appearance uh, in the Fantastic Four comics. Uh, so moving on to the next figure in that line, uh, we'll go ahead and move on to Marvel's Blizzard. Uh, here we go, guys. Uh, so yeah, this is, um, funnily enough, okay, so the spell effect is actually from Adam Warlock. So this fig actually doesn't come with any accessories. He just kind of comes standard as is. Um, I dig his metallic paint. Uh, he's got a standard male buck. So we've got the ab crunch here. We've got the hip pivot. Uh, I've got arms. Uh, head's pretty standard. I mean, here's the deal with this guy. Like, we've got a thigh pivot here. Let's see. Yep, there's a thigh pivot, shin pivot, ankle pivot, twisty dealy. Let's see, up and down, double hinge knee, double hinged elbow. I'm just going to go through him real quick, guys, because this is, I mean, basically, you could literally pretty much paint this guy any color, and he could be any figure. This could be a customizer's dream. Um, I don't know about in terms of what these base colors, or if they're any good. I'm not much of a customizer myself. Uh, but as I start to get into it, and as I start to learn a little bit about it, I think that this would be a good just kind of standard army builder you could kind of just build anybody with this but i dig the blizzard character um i gave him some cool like i said spell effects from adam warlock since i gave adam warlock one of havoc spell effects or silver surfers havocs probably havocs um so anyway uh switched it up so he's got a spell effect so he's got a little bit of pizzazz because uh, like i said he's a real he's a real boring figure guys like he's, he doesn't have a mouth his paint on his eyes let's get a good close up of his head right here. It's not focusing on my head. There we go. Yeah, he's pretty boring. I mean like the paint sharp. Like I think they did a good job with the with the paint. Like the the freezy effects are kind of cool looking. But other than that, I mean he's just a pretty standard figure. There's nothing special about him. Kind of a boring, obscure figure, Marvel. Five out of ten. Um, this new rating system, I don't know if I'm going to stick with it or not, but I don't hate it. Uh, so let's move on to a more dynamic figure here. So this one, we're going to move on to Doctor Strange. Uh, so here's Doctor Strange, and he did come with spell effects. And as you guys might notice, this is the first iteration of Hasbro's Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. And we can all notice right away he's missing something very important. Uh, one of our favorite characters from the movie. Uh, the cloak of uh, levitation. Um, it, it's not here. Uh, he didn't. They didn't. Who, what figure in their right mind is made for Doctor Strange and doesn't have a cape? My roommate, who is not a big comic nerd or figure nerd for that matter, this was the first thing he said when he saw this. He said, "Where is his cape?" And I said, "I don't. I don't know. They didn't give him one." But uh, he does have some cool spell effects here. The green. We've got the cool hands. We don't have any hand options, which kind of stinks. Uh, but I don't hate this figure. Uh, paint's pretty sharp. Face isn't terrible. Let's see if we get a decent close up there without. Man, I gotta get a better camera for a lay zoom. Anyway, the paint apps aren't terrible. The paint apps on the body are pretty sharp. Lines are pretty good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so there we go. All right, so yeah, as you guys can see, it's a pretty sharp paint job on the head. 
I don't know. Paint amps are pretty sharp on the body. The belt buckle here is metallicized. It doesn't have an IMOG moto. This is a super weird figure. This drives me nuts. Anyway, uh, articulation. So head up and down, swivel, standard Marvel Legends head. We got standard Marvel Legends arm here. Um, shoulder joint. Let's see if we can get that to move. There we go. Okay, it's got a nice uh, 180, 360 rotation there. Uh, we got the bicep pivot. We've got elbows. Uh, the wrists move. Okay, so here's a downside to this fig as well. When I put these spell effects on, um, they're kind of tough to get on. And in order to get them on uh, like securely so I don't have to worry about them falling off, what I like to do is pop the hands off. But these Doctor Strange figs with no hand replacements are maddening to try to get the hands out. Like, it feels like I'm going to break the peg. And as you guys can see on this one, I kind of just went in between the wrist. Like, I didn't get it all the way on, at least not from from that angle at least it's not terrible but they don't sit on the wrist very well they kind of fall off a little bit it's kind of irritating um and then i don't like them wiggling around so that's that's a down to this figure um again these were hasbro's you know, they were just starting to hit their stride with these so they're not, i don't expect perfection you guys should see this build a figure that was totally worth uh so shin pivot uh thigh pivot uh double hinged knee double hinged elbow uh waist, ab crunch. I don't know if I said that already. Okay, so, Doctor Strange, guys. Not super exciting. Kind of disappointing some aspects, especially since he's like a more major character and you wanted some cooler stuff. So just the two spell effects was kind of lame. I was really definitely hoping for a cape. Uh, but don't worry. They remedied that later on. And we will talk about that figure later. I'm excited about that. Um, <clears throat> so let's move on to three of my favorite figures out of this wave. And we are down. Oh, real quick. Let's bring up to Marvel now. Iron Man. Dun, 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 dun. This figure's super cool. We talked about him in our review before. Um, he's got these cool shoulder flaps that pop up and down. He's got standard male Iron Man articulation, which is pretty cool. Uh, no ab crunch, just the hip uh, top pivot, which is kind of weird, but whatever. It's an Iron Man, so I'm not surprised. Um... Yeah, anyway, we won't talk about his articulation too much because we've talked about him already in another episode. The only thing that I wish was different with it, with him was he had a hole to put a spell effect blaster deal in, but in case for us, I can't win them all. Um, he's a cool fig otherwise. And he stands very nicely. I was not expecting that. Uh, okay, so on to the better figures in this wave. So we'll move on to Vision. Okay, so last time we talked about Clear Vision, and this is the Hulkbuster Vision. Uh, we talked about two visions actually. We talked about clear vision, and we talked about the Marvel Now vision, and the, or the all new, all different vision, which was cool looking. I like the sharp lines, but this is our Hulkbuster way of vision, and this is the cape I was talking about that was similar to our clear vision. We really dig the paint on this guy. It's uber sharp. The Infinity Stone looks nice. The red on his face is super cool. Uh, but on the clear vision, he had that cape that was kind of hard plastic. Same thing with this one. It's a little flexible at the bottom, but up at the top, nice and stiff. You can't really move it at all. That kind of stinks. It's a little bit on the long side. It doesn't go over his head. It does have the peg in the back, as you guys saw. He's got the peg in the back, so you're going to wind that up real nice. And the other thing is he's got yellow, which is cool. So it kind of blends with the cape pretty nicely. But again, Hasbro kind of learning, as you can see, that's that's still two different shades of yellow, but I'm not super stressed about it. It's still, this is a good looking fig. Um, so let's go over articulation real quick. Uh, ab crunch, uh, waist pivot, yay. Uh, arm, shoulder deal, uh, bicep, yeah. Uh, elbow, double hinged, yes. Uh, yes, it is double hinged. Um, sorry, I'm just having trouble. There we go, okay, so it is double hinged. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, wrists. Cool. We got the wrist pivot on this one. Uh, I didn't talk about that on the other figures. Uh, Thundra has it. Uh, Doctor Strange has it. And Blizzard has it. But again, eh, who cares? Uh, <laughs> Blizzard's lame. Um, I like him, but he's lame. Um, anyway, so here's the vision again, guys. Uh, thighs. We got thigh pivot. Uh, this vision does have shin pivot. I do like his super sharp paint on his legs. Uh, 
two-tone green is pretty cool. That's the other thing about this figure, guys. There's a lot of two-tone green on him, which is pretty neat. Um, I dig that a lot. There's a good shot right there. Nice. His hands are red. Uh, no hand options on this guy. So we got one open hand, one closed hand. Uh, they both do the wrist thingy, which is kind of cool. Uh, we've got standard. Let's see how our legs are here. Ankle pivot, yes, here on your guys' end. Uh, here we go. Okay, so ankle pivot to go. Uh, I said shin, thigh, double hinge knee. Okay, cool. So that's vision, guys. All right, like I said, I dig this figure. Um, the paint was really cool. This was the first vision figure they did. Uh, I think coming out of the gate before they did Hulk and stuff like that. Uh, I wish they would have given us some hand options, but again, this is Hasbro learning. Um, they were just starting to hit their stride. Um, da, 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 moving on to Valkyrie. Okay, so this figure is kind of cool. Again, they did the bigger buck with her. Uh, I will go ahead and hold up Captain Marvel for a compare and contrast. As you can see, Captain Marvel, and this is with her legs all posed and stuff, too. Let's unpose her real quick. I'm just standing around nice and straight. So there's Valkyrie. There's Captain Marvel. As you can see, the buck's a lot smaller. Again, they did the female thing again. It feels like they just did a Thunderbolt and just did a head and did something different with the paint. Uh, the other thing they did with this figure that I'm not a huge fan of is they did the, the belt uh, is molded on. Yuck. What is Who did this? That was terrible. Uh, so I wish the belt was moved around a little bit, which kind of cool. Uh, they gave us similar legs again. Uh, so we got those weird legs I've got turned for you guys so you guys can see how the joints are. are. Uh, they did the weird bicep thing again, but they did some cool paint. They gave her some gauntlets, which was pretty nice. Uh, she's got Madonna boobs, which, whatever. Like, it's a Thor thing, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I dig her braids. These are super cool. They did the Valkyrie braids. Uh, she comes with a sword. Uh, the cool neck piece here. Again, standard female articulation. We've got... Oh, so these heads are just... All right, so the heads are just ball and socket. They don't have the... the... There you go. Oh, Valkyrie without a head. Uh, so they're the, it looks like the female heads are just ball and socket. They don't have the, the hinge to go back and forth, but that, again, makes sense. Let's see. Yep. Thunder is the same thing. I didn't show that to you guys before. Okay, so there's that. Um, they don't have the hinge, which they started to add on the female characters a little bit later so they can look up. It would be really cool on her because her hair isn't in her way, really. She could kind of just look up. I mean, yeah, that's stupid. Anyway... So this Valkyrie cool figure is pretty cool. I wish they would have given her a couple things, like a cape and a shield. Um, yeah, I still dig this, though. The paint job, again, really good. Solid on the hair, solid on the face for the most part. Eyes are a little wonky, but whatever. Again, Hasbro learning. So let's get on to the creme de la creme figure. Two figures. <clears throat> Obviously the last figure in this uh, wave. And then on to the BAF. And then we're doing a giveaway. I didn't tell you guys that about that at the beginning of the episode. We're doing a Deadpool giveaway. Um, cool. Awesome. So anyway, uh, on to War Machine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, War Machine. So this figure, I dig a lot. This, I feel like, was actually straight out of Age of Ultron. This was the MCU fig they did, but seeing his Iron Man figs kind of translate well in terms of MCU to comic. Like, I'm not super upset about this figure being in my collection as my War Machine. And he did come with another head option, which is pretty cool. So we've got, real quick, let's talk about accessories and articulation. Uh, shoulder pads do go up and down on this guy, but not as high as I'd like. So it looks like they copied the Marvel Now thing. He's got pretty standard arm articulation that do go up high enough to kind of get his arm up there, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's got bicep pivot, we've got double hinged elbow as standard, double hinged elbow, and I think I talked about this on Warlock with the gears showing on these because of the armor, and they did that on these as well, on the elbows, so that's pretty cool. There you go, there's a good shot of that. All right, so that's pretty neat. Um, knees, we've got thigh, okay, so these are weird, we, they got that weird ball and socket thing going on. Um, as you can see with these Iron Man figs, uh, so that's okay. Uh, gears on the back of the leg. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. There you go. There's a good close-up shot of that. So they showed the gears on the back of the leg. It's pretty cool. 
Um, no shin pivot on this guy, which kind of stinks. But he's Iron Man. Tony, it's Rhodey, whatever. Um, the other thing is, is the way his ankles are constructed. We're similar to the Marvel Now Iron Man. I know we talked about that before. We didn't like it. Um, so, let's see if you guys can see that. So the bottom of the foot is like, this is the back portion of the leg. And it's kind of lined up. And it doesn't give you an ability to like pivot the foot at all. Which kind of stinks. So the legs really just have a back and forth. And really, if you want it to look flush and not stupid like that, with the heel at the back, then you kind of need them in one position anyway. So that really puts all your pivot for leg positioning on this thigh, which kind of, and it's up here at the top, which kind of, it's more of a hip thigh, which kind of stinks. But I haven't really had a hard time posing him, which is lucky me. So anyway, um, the other thing is he comes with this cool gun on the back, as you guys can see. The gun uh, also has some articulation, which is pretty nice. It goes up and down. Uh, so we've got that uh, option for Rhodey. It also turns right to left, which is pretty cool. Uh, his head is on a hinge. Uh, let's pop it off. So we do have the hinge on the head here, which is kind of nice. It goes back and forth. Uh, and it's also got the socket, obviously. Uh, we talked about arm articulation. Uh, he has two fists for um, more machine. And then one last thing, guys, which I want to show you, which is pretty cool, was our... They gave us a head option for Rudy. Uh, they gave us a Don Cheadle head option, which is still pretty cool. Uh, I need to dig it out of my box of accessories here. Let's see if I can open it. Let's... Oh, there we go. All right, if that would have taken two seconds longer, I would have paused the video. Okay, okay, guys. So there we go. There's our roadie head. Let's see if I get a good shot of that. Oh, I had it. There you go. All right, guys. So there's Don Cheeto Rody. No war machine outfit. So that's pretty cool. Rody's black in the comics anyway, so who cares? I mean, it looks just like Don Cheeto, though. That's a fantastic mold. Yeah, super awesome. All right, so we got War Machine, as you guys saw. Da -da -da. Um, and then we're going to move on to the BAF. All right, guys. So this guy I was super excited about. It totally came up on him on accident. I was not expecting to build this figure. I really only had the Marvel Now Iron Man. And then the, all the figures kind of just fell in my lap. And I was like, yeah, let's build him. And it also forced me to buy regular Hulk instead of Rage Hulk, which I didn't want in the first place. So look at this guy. He's amazing. He's huge. He's gigantic! It's a Hulk Buster! Alright, so I'm gonna grab Hulk off the shelf in two seconds. Uh, real quick, so you guys can kind of get a feel for our size difference. Alright, so a regular fig. This is a regular size mail block. Alright, so there's Hulk. There's Vision. Clear shot. You can obviously see Hulk has like an easy two inches, maybe two and a half on, on vision here, foot to foot, roughly. And again, that's him kind of posed a little bit. Uh, and so Hulk, and Hulk Buster, I back those up so you can get a good shot. And that's just, oh, that's awesome, man. Hulk Buster's going to, Veronica's going to come in and just smash on Bruce. That stinks. This is a wonderful scale. Uh, I actually think Rage Hulk ended up being, like, closer to the size of this guy. So, like, he's... Rage Hulk might be pretty cool, but again, I didn't want MC Mark Ruffalo face. I, I like this guy. Um, but this isn't about Hulk. This is about Veronica. Yes, Veronica. Okay, so cool. So she was a build, uh, build a figure. She came with uh, seven different parts. Uh, head, uh, torso was part of Blizzard. Uh, she had a hip piece, which I believe came with. Let me look at the box. 
five. Vision. Okay, so the hit piece came with Vision. I think it was Vision I stumbled on, and then all of a sudden the other figures just came into my lap. And I, and I already had Marvel Now Iron Man, so that's like a leg, and I was like, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, let's just go. So anyway, two arms uh, come with... Let's see, the head comes with War Machine, the torso comes with Blizzard, uh, the two arms come with Thundra and Valkyrie, and the other leg comes with Doctor Strange. So, there you go, guys. Let's talk about his articulation real quick. Um, so the head is... Let's pop it off, because it's super easy. The head is on a hinge. Uh, we have here, so you guys can see, that goes backwards and forwards. Uh, not that it matters a whole bunch, because this head's super odd-shaped as it is. Uh, but it does go on, so we can put the head on, back on. Pretty easy. And the head does slide back and forth a little bit, and it turns, which is pretty cool. So you got the nice socket motion there, which is neat. Uh, the arms, uh, pretty standard Marvel Legend arms. Uh, they plugged in, obviously pretty simple. I'm not going to rip them out, just for my own sanity. Um, so up and down. Uh... Standard Marvel Legend articulation. Let's see. For the elbows, so they aren't double hinged, obviously, but they did give us a cool little feature here. So, if I can get you guys a good shot of that. So, this is our elbow right here. So, this, as you guys can see, we've got the bicep pivot, but if you hold the bicep still, let's see if I can get this on camera, the arm. Will also pivot ball and socket style from the elbow, which is pretty friggin' cool. So they give you a little bit of extra articulation in the elbow here. It's not super um, big articulation, like in terms of range of motion, but it's kind of cool that they gave you a little bit extra but took some away. Like they were like, oh, well, we can't give you a double hinged elbow because it's supposed to be such a bulky figure. We can give you something close. Um, so again, so that's the arm articulation. Let's talk about legs. Uh, we've got thigh pivot up at the top where it's kind of a ball and socket -y deal. So we got thigh pivot right here, ball and socket. Uh, we've got, uh, it looks like we might have a double hinge knee. No, we don't have a double hinge knee. Okay, but again, no double hinge knee, but we've got the cool gears at the back of the, at the, back of the leg. Also, that's pretty good range of motion for a Hulkbuster. Like that, for such a bulky fig to have such good leg range of motion, and it bends a little bit too far forward too, so you can hyperextend the Hulk leg. And a nice little kick there. Yeah, You do wonderful on a kick line, girl. Um, oh, it is kind of a double hinge knee. All right, so this is weird. It's kind of like got a, let me get a shot in there. Right, so inside here, like underneath, it's kind of got its own gear mechanism where it's connected, and it's connected as well up here at the side at the knee. So it's got like two parts, like two, like a double-sided ratchet almost, which is kind of neat. So you can bend it just at the bottom there, like that, and then bring it back up, or all the way back like that, and then bring it back some more. Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, Hulk. Veronica. Uh, anyway, all right, so they gave us some pretty good leg articulation there, which is pretty nice. Uh, feet, super cool with the feet. Again, they screwed us on the two other Iron Mans, but they gave us some really wicked articulation on this bad boy. Again, the way the feet are molded, as you guys can see, it kind of looks a little stupid when you do them side to side, but based on the joints I'm seeing here in the back, should get some pretty good range of motion in the feet here. Let's see. If I can do this with, oh, yeah, yeah, back and forth. Up and down, that's pretty good. Let me get a little twisty action here. It's a ball and socket, so it's kind of neat. Um, again, not great because of the way the foot is molded, but it's not terrible. Give him some props for that. Okay, guys, so this is the Hulkbuster. Super excited about this figure. Now, real quick, I will point out some differences I've noticed uh, from the photos of uh, this guy and the Hulkbuster from the Hulk Hulkbuster 2-pack. And sorry, I brain farted there for a minute. Uh, and basically, it's the same figure. It's just paint. Um, so they did a better paint job. So like areas like this are painted silver. Um, areas in the back are painted a little bit better. I think the articulation is essentially the same. 
Um, but what's cool about me having a blank slate like this is that I can customize this any way I want. So if I want to add those cool paint details or maybe like battle damage or whatnot, I can do that as well. It doesn't have to be like pre-painted for me. So that's kind of cool. Um, and again, this is not a figure I was expecting to like do a BAF of. It just kind of happened. Um, I actually went out looking for Onslaught that day and ended up coming home with this guy. So, yeah. uh, what are you going to do? This is, I'm not disappointed. Um, so, guys, that's our, our review of the Hulkbuster Wave. I really appreciate you guys coming out and uh, watching this episode and taking a look at this one. Uh, real quick, we're going to get into our Deadpool giveaway. Uh, so just like we've done our other giveaways, uh, basically I'm going to create a post on our Action Figure Breakdown Facebook page. Uh, we're on Instagram now, too, so check us out on Instagram, at Action Figure Breakdown on Facebook at Action Figure Breakdown, and we're on YouTube on my channel. Um, so check us out at Action Figure Breakdown on Seth Blumenthal's channel. Uh, anyway, so our Deadpool figure. Congratulations, pre-congratulations to the person that is going to win this awesome, awesome, awesome Deadpool figure uh, from the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure Wave. It does not have a BAF piece, which kind of stinks, but que sera, sera. Look at that. It's got two swords. Uh, this honestly is probably the best articulated Deadpool figure that I have. Um, I have him as well up in one of my... Oh, there he is. He's over there. Um, he's on the Spider-Man shelf. And then I also have a couple of other Deadpool figures, but we'll talk about those another day as well. I really just wanted to blow through this Hulkbuster right. But same thing, guys. So I'm going to create an official giveaway post on the Facebook page. Uh, go to the Facebook page. Uh, like and follow the Facebook page. Uh, check out our Instagram which I will try to post a link to. Um, and then um, like and comment, or like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, if you do those things, uh, comment with the number one through 75. Um, we only had nine entrants last time. Come on guys, I'm giving away free stuff. Uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, comment number one through 75 uh, and we will give away that Marvel Legends Deadpool to the winner. Uh, shipping anywhere in the US is included. Uh, any international shipping. Uh, the contest is open to international contestants, but we will only uh, shipping will be at the buyer at the winner's expense. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, like I said, Marvel Legends Deadpool for a giveaway. Uh, once again, we got the Marvel Legends Hulk figure, build or Hulkbuster build a figure, and we've got these other cool seven figures that we got. So real quick recap: Vision, War Machine, Iron Man. Thundra, or sorry, Valkyrie. <laughs> Thundra. Doctor Strange with no cape. And the ice cream cone guy. Uh, Blizzard. Anyway, guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, catch us on our next episode. Uh, we'll do our live drawing Thursday? Yeah, we'll do the live drawing for the Deadpool Thursday, which means the contest will close Wednesday night at midnight. Uh, so we'll see you guys all back here Thursday to watch the giveaway. Have a wonderful evening, and thanks for watching Action Figure Breakdown.